So very quickly, the ventral PSNS controls three functions, the vagal break, recovery after we get all stressed out, and our bodily functions for our social engagement system. So let me explain the vagal break. The vagal break is part of the cardiovascular system. This is the part that allows us to make rapid, nuanced, adaptive adjustments to our heart rate and breathing rate. And when it's working properly, our cardiovascular system is regulated and able to manage minor stressors simply by engaging and removing the vagal break without having to turn on the stress hormones. If the vagal break is always turned off and it's no longer functioning properly, our cardiovascular system is always experiencing stress. Over time, people are likely to manifest cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, and increased risk for arthrosclerosis and heart attacks. So we want to be engaging and disengaging the vagal break. We don't want it to be completely off all the time, and we don't want it to be functioning improperly. Now, the ventral PSNS, once we have gotten past the stress being, you know, the threat being there, once that threat has passed, the PSNS triggers a hormone to re-engage, turn on the vagal break, which slows our heart rate back down. It's just like driving a car, you know, putting the brake on slows down the heart rate, or th slows down the heart rate, slows down the breathing rate. Our muscles relax. Next thing you know, we're digesting stuff. The stress hormones are making their way out of their body. You know, our immune functioning is settling back down and we get back to that long-term processes of healing and resting and just feeling well. This is really interesting and why it comes first as a stress response, because it controls the bodily functions for our social engagement system. So this is the piece that controls our head, our neck and eye muscles so that we can take in the environment, our facial muscles that allow us to use expressions to connect socially with other people. It controls our larynx and pharynx so that we can use our voices. And it also controls the muscles that help us chew and suck and swallow and the muscles in the middle ear that help us listen. And it also releases oxytocin with social bond, you know, which is the social bonding hormone. And that can allow us to feel calm and centered and connected with people. So what this tells me is a couple of things. First of all, this is my first defense. So if I feel like something is scary, I'm going to look around and try to get help from other people. Social engagement system, right? If I can't get help from other people by using my social engagement system, then I'm going to go the next level. But this is where we start. But what's interesting is that if we are constantly having a hard time regulating our stress, then we're probably having a really hard time creating and maintaining workable, supportive, and satisfying relationships because this piece of the system isn't working right. 